hi guys thank you for stopping by to share with julie today i hope you're having a fantabulous day today guys in this video i'll be focusing on varicose veins i was asked about varicose veins and i decided to do a video on it so here goes guys what are varicose veins? Varicose veins are swollen and enlarged veins that usually occur in the legs and feet. They are often lumpy, bulging or twisted in appearance and they may look blue or dark purple. Symptoms of varicose veins. There are a number of symptoms that occurs with varicose veins and these may include large veins that you can see just under the surface of the skin. There may be aching or tiredness and a feeling of fullness in the limbs. The skin may also have a tense or burning sensation. There may be muscle cramps which occur especially at night. There may be discoloration in the area where the varicose veins are. Skin may be dry, itchy and thin over the affected veins. The main cause of varicose vein is the leaching of calcium from the body. When the body is in a state of acidity, it may need to buffer that acid with an alkalizer and as a result it may pull calcium from the bones and connective tissue and that is why it is important that we not consume a diet that is too acid in nature or a diet that is lacking in calcium. Calcium is a part of the body's buffering system and the body will pull calcium from the bones and connective tissue in order to buffer the acid. As a result, the valves of the veins no longer function properly. Contraceptive medications have also been known to induce varicose veins. They can also occur during pregnancy and disappear after childbirth. Straining to stool causes constipation and may result in varicose veins. There are a number of conventional treatments for varicose veins. Some doctors may take a milder approach, especially in the early stages, encouraging compression stockings, taking regular exercise and elevating the affected area when resting. Where the condition is more severe, such as where there is blood clot, pain or skin ulcer, a doctor may suggest medical treatment options which include endothermal ablation. This is where heat is used to seal affected veins. Sclerotherapy. This uses special foam to close the veins. Ligation and stripping. This is where the affected veins are surgically removed. Varicose veins, however, can be treated successfully without those form treatment. There are a number of natural remedies or natural approach of primarily focus on diet, exercise and using the herbs to help to alleviate the pain, alleviate the stress on the body and also to bring the body back to a state of healing and health. Natural herbal remedies for varicose veins include the following. Chondrus crispus, also known as Irish moss or sea moss. Sea moss is very effective for varicose veins due to its mineral content, but especially due to the calcium levels that it contains. Red oak bark. This can be used to make a decoction to wash and bathe the area daily. White oak bark. This can also be used to make a decoction 
to also wash the area or to make a compress for the area that is affected. Tormentil. Tormentil could be applied to the area as a fomentation as well as it can also be had as tea. Also, one could also make a tea with horse tail. There are some things that are not recommended when one is dealing with varicose veins. One should not wear bands on the leg, wear anything tight around the waist. One should not squat except for a very short period of time. One should avoid eating fried, salty, processed foods, dairy products, hydrogenated vegetable oils, and as much as possible, try to avoid meat. Do not cross the legs or dangle the feet. Do not, do not sit for long periods of time. If you work where you have to sit for long periods of time, get up at intervals and walk around. Try also to avoid pastries, sugars, alcoholic beverages, soft drinks or sodas, breads, candies. These especially can facilitate the leaching of calcium from the body. Some things that one should do if one is dealing with varicose veins include get moderate exercise daily because it's important to increase circulation. Change position frequently. If you are sitting, you change your position Never cross your legs. Sit with feet elevated. Lie on a slant board with your feet higher than your head. Do this for about 15 minutes each day. Practice daily deep breathing exercises to help to improve circulation and to bring more oxygen into the body. Walk barefoot as much as you possibly can to help to improve venous blood flow. If one is able to do green juices for a period of time or do a period of fasting, that will also help the body because the aim is to increase the level of alkalinity in the body and also specifically to increase the calcium levels. There is additional information available on my blog so please check that out and I'll put the link down below. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!